What's up? It's Fat Boy Dan here. Nothing but redneck fishing all year. Fishing videos with all the beer and fun only at FatBoyDanFishing.com. The place for one of a kind type fishing with Fat Boy Dan from Indiana. You won't miss a thing. The greatest catches and product reviews. Catch them all with Fat Boy Dan Fishing videos. Live to fish, fish to live. This Fat Boy Dan Fishing. FatBoyDanFishing.com. You know what time of the year it is, man. It's that time to get your boat out, take your kids out, your wife out, your best friend, your fishing buddy. It don't matter. It's time to get out on the river, the lake, man. Tell you what, but I'm going to give you a few little pointers, maybe a few how-tos. I don't know for sure myself. You take it how you want to take it. I'm going to throw it how I throw it. First of all, man, how many times you took your trusty boat? Oh, when I mean your trusty boat, because you got to call your trusty boat. You love your boat just like I love my boat. But you know, you know your trusty boat will let you down. That, 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 that one time you're probably thinking, man, I know you, 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 you reminiscing on a story right now. I know you are. I can reminisce on so many stories. Man, that was that one time. But that's a whole nother, I mean, you had to log on other stuff to see that. But, but then your trusty boat, man, will always let you down at least that one, one time. Even if you got that brand new boat, that old boat, that antique boat, that boat your granny, your daddy, your brother, your uncle, your sister passed on to you, man. And, but, uh. As you can see, my boat slapped me down. But I'm going to bring you a few how-to tips. You know, maybe a little few pointers. Showing you how to give a little checkup on your boat. I know you can take it to a uh, to a boat shop. Yeah, go ahead and do that. If you got the money, go ahead and do it. I, or, you know, you got the money, take it to them. But, uh, or save you a few monies by just taking these few pointers that I've got to go over the simple stuff that's going on. You know, first of all, before you take your boat out, I mean, how many times you been to the lake? Man, can I, Follow me real quick. How many times you been going to the lake and you got out there and you're ready and you got out there only to find what? Your battery's dead. The number one reason called for batteries, as you can see, my battery's a little terminated right now. But you know what I'm saying? Look, I brush that off. That's a brand new battery. Even with a brand new battery, look at that baby right Brand new battery. As you can see back here, I've even got the XP S. Power Series onboard charger with the onboard charger. That baby's still there. And as you can see with these terminals, look. Look at that. Loose cap. That right there could heat your wires up, cause you not to get started or nothing. Also, as you can see right here, these terminals are kind of dirty. We got some green going on here. I'm, I don't know if you can see back here now, but we got green going on back here too. And this is some of the stuff, this is like your hydraulic thing that lifts your motor up. What happens you get out there and say you're pulling your boat out of the water. Your hydraulic pump won't lift your boat up. There's a problem. You're going to drag your prop all the way home only to find it get cut. But let's get back to this battery where I'm talking about. The number one calls for batteries coming out. Well, we want to take care of that by simply taking, say you got one of these battery terminals. You can pick them up at any advanced autos, AutoZone, Napa, Pet Boys, or any even your local Walmart. It goes on to your terminal easy like this. Give it your right twist. It's going to clean it. You also got the thing inside. But I'm going to give you a few other tips that are easy to follow. Pure baking soda. I don't know. It just looks good. I just like to pour some on. Why? I don't know. They say it cleans everything to take the smell away. It just looks good on the battery terminals, I guess. Coca-Cola. Always Coca-Cola. You gotta have coke. Don't use no other stuff. Let that stuff sit there. Look at that. Do you see that foaming? Now, now, look at that, baby. Look at that, baby. Now, watch this. Now, watch this, baby. Come up. Put my cap back on this. Now, see that terminal right there? <sighs> a little dirty from the coke still. Once that baby dries off, it's still a little bit wet. But once that baby dries off, it's gonna be a little bit of silver. Give it a few more little right twists. Take your other one out. Grind these down, clean them and everything. You know, give your terminals a good little clean over. 
Maybe check your gas lines over here. Make sure all your gas lines are good. Make sure you have no holes in it. You know, stuff like that. And then, uh, just, you know, just, you just want to check your stuff. You just always want to keep in touch. That's, that's where I like to start. I like to start with the battery. Because that way I know I got at least, I at least got my power source taken care of. Because otherwise you go to try to do any electronics and you ain't got nothing. And you're going to lead right back to your battery. So why not start to your battery? Okay, so now I'm going to go back over here now. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn my ignition. Huh. Well, that sounds like a problem. And you're probably thinking, oh, man, how many times you got on the on the lake, on the river, wherever you're going? And you heard that. And you're not knowing what it is. Okay, well, th there you go. If you clean your battery terminals first, then you know it's not your battery. So there's that way you don't have to go back there and you got 15 wires hooked up to a battery because I got, like, two batteries in here and one trolling motor and all that other stuff. And another one for your starting battery, your your accessories, your fish finder, all that stuff. But you don't want to go messing with all that. So that way if you clean your battery terminals first, you know that's to occur. You know that's not your problem. Therefore, okay, it looks to be my thumbnails. No, so you know, take a screwdriver. Okay, go ahead and uh, as you can see, I got my cap off. Got my plugs back here. And that's another thing you probably want to check at another time too. You want to check your plugs, clean them out, make sure they're good. Or if you got the money, I would pre prefer to buy new plugs. And I only run NGK. Ain't nothing better than an NGK plugs in a boat motor. But see right there with that clicking noise, as you can see, that's got to be the terminal. It's not your terminal. Right there it is. That's your solenoid. As you can see, my boat fired right up. Therefore, it ain't my terminals down there because I took care of my terminals. I jumped right there and it tells you your solenoid's out. Okay, maybe you need to replace the solenoid now. You had been on the water and you hear that clicking noise, just pop your cap off. Jump your ceiling with there's two prongs on top. Take a screwdriver, that'll get you home. You know what? Let me go ahead and give you a show up. Uh, look, come on up with on this real quick. Let me show you how this is done. You're out one time, you ain't getting no power. Your stuff's gonna click, click. Take this. There you go. That's how it's done. Still got your ignition switch. Yeah, my ignition shut it back off. That just lets you know that's your terminal. You know, another thing you want to check out, man, you just want to check out all kinds of stuff, you know. Make sure you got gas in your boat. Make sure uh, your terminals are good. Also, you want to check your lights. You know, I'm like, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to check my lights. Okay, I'm going to come up here and I'm going like, to grab my beer first, but I'm coming up here and like, okay, I'm looking at my dash lights now. Okay, now I see that I got my navigation lights. I got a light out here. That's no biggie. That's not nothing you have to jump into. That just tells me probably... So, yep, see, I, see that? I got a loose wire on my back. Okay, that's something I'll take care of later. Make sure my navigation light on, my navigation light on the front works. Okay, that's a plus. You want to have your navigation lights when you go out on that water at night. It's the law. Not only that, it's safety. You ain't got safety first, and what are you doing on the water? Okay, you want to check your aerators, make sure you... Oh, I hear that. That's my belch pump. You want to make sure you got your belch pump. I don't know how many times you've been... In a rainstorm, that rain came in, you want to belch it out. Just maybe you got a hole in your, hole in your boat. Just want to check all your stuff, man. Make sure you get it going. Check your steering. Make sure your steering's going. Make sure your motor's turning. You know, and, uh, you know, your seats you ain't got to worry about. Just make sure you, your, your stuff pushes nicely forward. Make sure your engager engages. All that stuff. Just some of the stuff you want to check. Oh, that's nice. And you, I know you hear that in the back. I'm, I know you hear that. That's your motor. You see that? That's, that killed it right there. Let's me know I'm at a, a certain tilt when I'm in the water. My extra tilt to bring it up's working. My down tilt's working. That way it's safe. Because, I, man, I had this ski boat one time. I'm going to tell you a little story. story. Just it tore it up, man. It's, but I had this ski boat, man. One time I come out of water. You didn't hear that coming up. How many times have you pulled your ski boat bass boat or any boat out there and you got power tilt and that ain't going up and you drag your little uh, prop on the ground oh that'll tear a motor up in a bit well not in your motor but it'll tear your bottom end up but you know what another thing you also want to come up here and you want to check out your uh your trolling motor say you got a trolling motor make sure your trolling motor works and everything else you know clean your plugs on it you got your plugs on it and everything else make sure your plugs are clean me, I like to I like to use a single plug. That way I know each plug's clean. I got them broke down right now. Make sure each one of them's clean. 
Oh, what's up, Hunter? And what's up, Sean? Sean, you know that you you recognize them, Hunter and Sunshine, right there. Yeah, y'all be back out. It's okay. It's okay. Y'all be back out. But as you see, my boat's a little dirty right now. You know what I'm saying? Got the, the string out in it. Got the life jackets in it. And you ain't got no cat boat. You ain't got some of that. Some of that dirt. But it's just some of the stuff you want to check on the maintenance and uh, you know check check your bellish pump. That's a, that's another good you know thing you want to check. Uh, check your plug. Yeah, don't 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 leave your plug out of the boat. Your plug goes in the back of the boat. Me personally, if you got a bellish pump, I'd never I'd never pull my plug out unless somebody my bellish pump stops working because my bellish pump will sit there and pump out water to that much water. I don't need every single bit of rain drop out because I know when I pull that catfish in, that catfish is going to have a little bit of water on it. And I'm going to get a little bit of water. I'm going to spill a little bit, a little bit. You know what? Right there. I, I, right there. I throw my, I'm going to pour a little bit of that out right there. See that? That's, that's from all my uh, dead catfish that I ate over the years. You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. all them catfish. That's from my dead, my dead homie catfish. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, I have a fun time just out fishing, but, but you ain't out fishing if you miss some parks. Damn, fat boy, you forgetting something. Let me show you what pit me down right now. Let me let me go ahead and show you what pit me down right now. Let me show you this. As y'all can see this right here, man. See this? Let me bring you down here to a little closer up look. As you can see this, I've got the bearing. This bearing went out. My spindle still looks pretty good, but my bearing cracked. I had to cut this off because this was locked on up to here. It almost welded itself shut. So I had to take care of that. But at the time being, my hub, yeah, I had to drive home. I was out fishing one time. As you can see, it, it did the back thing. Got some grinds in the inside easily. You feel your finger inside that hub, and you feel them little threads. Yeah, that's not good. So I went out. All new hubs. All new bearings. All greased up. Them babies are going to slide in on there. Make sure your bearings and hubs are easy lubricated. You know, just make sure. Even if even if you got a hub that's got the little poppers on them that pop out and say, "Hey, I need to be greased." Sometimes don't trust them because I had them on here. Them babies never. But this side never popped out. I mean, say, "Hey, fat boy, I need to be greased." Okay, well, I didn't grease it because it never popped out. But anyways, I'm gonna replace it with a new hub. That pit me down. Uh. Another thing you want to check, man, like I said, the steering unit. Make sure you got grease up in your steering unit. Make sure you can spin freely, everything else. Make sure you got gas in your boat. Have a safe, fun trip. Me, I'm going to sit here and put this bearing back together. Another tip you want to take, another tip, check your lights. Your, your brake lights, your turn signal lights. I mean, when you're driving back at night, you got it all good to go. Make sure before you leave, on your boating trip, you have all them things checked. That should get you on a safe trip. And the number one thing to have before you take that trip would be a life jacket. For every person in the boat, because without a life jacket, it's no fun. Y'all stay tuned. I'm just going to wrap the little occlusion up on that uh, little, you know, little stuff to here and there. But let me just say that, you know, I got my bearing going and everything. Also, you know, it's good to have your spare tire with you and everything. That's another thing I want to add in there. But another thing, like this trip today, you know, I showed you yesterday. I was doing my maintenance stuff on it, checking all my stuff. Everything came out good. I put my new bearing, my new hub on. I put new plugs in, checked my plug wires, clean my terminals. Trailing motor works. But then there's that one thing that can still go wrong. I told you there's that one thing that can still go wrong. Now, I got a water pump goes out. Whoa, what's the odds of that? Me coming out here, can't get on the river. I know you see the river behind me. I know you see it, right? So I'm going to get on this river. And drink me uh, uh, a cold pop, maybe a beer, I don't know, you know, you know me, you know what I drink, so. But I got out here, the motor fired up, everything else. Bam. But, water pump goes out. Man, that's, that just tells you, man, I always check everything. I've even had my little snorkel thing and everything, I should have checked it yesterday, hooked the water pump up, checked it. But hey, that's, that's why you always want to check it. So when you get this little video, make sure you check your water pump too. Even though your motor starts, that's good. But check your water pump. Fat Boy Dan, I'm signing off. I'm going to take the boat home. I'm heading my ass to Merrim. I'm going to bank fish all night long. I'm out, man. Put this motor up. Hey, you, what's up? It's Fat Boy Dan here. Nothing but redneck fishing all year.
fishing videos with all the beer and fun only at FatboyDanFishing.com. The place for one of a kind type fishing with Fat Boy Dan from Indiana, you won't miss a thing. The greatest catches and product reviews, catch them all with Fat Boy Dan Fishing videos. Live to fish, fish to live. It's Fat Boy Dan Fishing. FatboyDanFishing.com.